Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the Huawei MateBook D 15 inch model. So my laptop is upside down right here. The Huawei MateBook D 15 inch model. Let's jump right into this. So this is a mid range budget laptop coming in at around 650 euro. Thankfully for me, I was able to pick this up for around 560 here in medium market in Belgium. So opening the box up, we get the quick start material inside the box. We get a USB-C charger. Yes. So it's a fully USB. The brick itself actually has a USB port on top, which connects to another USB port, which plugs directly into the laptop, which I love to see. So everything charges through USB. And from everything I read, it's a 65 watt USB-C charger, which can bring up to 50% in an hour, I believe, which is really good. And I'm I'm really happy to see that on this laptop and then of course we get the laptop itself inside the box and overall the build quality seems to be good the laptop material itself is built from an aluminum alloy and it actually feels really good to hold especially considering other laptops at this price range really only come with like a hard plastic or some sort of other plastic materials but this whole thing feels really really premium to hold and feels really well built the keyboard feels really good and tactile it has an overall nice click and bounce to it it's not the best laptop keyboard i've ever used but it's definitely not the worst and it'll definitely be suitable for what you need to do. Now one caveat here is it doesn't actually have a numpad which I kind of get because I like the layout here it's going for. It's going very much for an Apple Mac style. However, I have a big soft spot for numpads, so I would like to see a numpad on this or some sort of bigger model, especially because 15 inches, it is totally possible to fit a numpad here too, although that's just a small gripe at this price point. We do have a really generous sized touchpad on here as well. It seems to be precision driver, so it does support two finger scrolling, along with three finger scrolling gestures inside windows, which is really nice to see. You can left click anywhere inside the touchpad, even surprisingly close up to the top right corner, apart from the actual real corners you can't press there but overall this is a really nice touchpad especially at this price point you never see anything like this it's almost similar to the dell xps level kind of touchpad the most recent ones it feels really nice and soft to touch on our webcam is actually recessed inside the keyboard it's hidden inside our f row between f6 and f7 pressing it down will actually reveal it so you do get a really weird angle inside this laptop. However, I will take it. It's kind of nice to have it here and we get overall nice bezels on the laptop itself. So I'll take it as a win-win. I don't use my laptop webcam very often. Although in this case, it's not very good quality. However, it's good enough for Skype or any sort of business meeting. So as long as you're not trying to do anything more than that here, it should be more than good enough. So one extra really nice thing in this laptop is actually a fingerprint scanner inside our power button. So we can use Windows Hello features. And when you log in and load up and boot up, you can see it's very quick. Pressing the power button, simply scan your finger once you get to the sign-in screen. It's instant, brings you straight into the Windows. It's a really nice feature on this laptop. It makes logging in really secure and really easy to do. And of course you can add multiple finger prints inside windows to create a really nice effect the screen on this is a full hd display with a brightness of around 250 nits and here you can kind of see where they kind of cheaped a little bit on the screen it seems to have overall decent color reproduction as well as angles and watching video content on this seems to be just fine however i do wish there was a bit more brightness here it does seem to be pretty dim at times and this is a laptop you definitely won't be able to use outside so overall i am happy with this screen there is some things to be desired with this but it's good enough for the price point so the specs on this machine i have at the moment is a ryzen 3500u so that is a four core a thread cpu we also have eight gigabytes of ram in this model and we have a 256 gig m.2 ssd inside this as well it's pretty good it's pretty snappy it doesn't seem to be too far behind anything else on the market however 256 gigs does give a little bit to be desired however we do actually have a decent port selection on this to make up for that so on the right hand side of the machine we have two full-size usb a ports now sadly these do seem to be usb 2 according to the colors right here and we also have our headphone port here on the side flipping it over then to the other side we have our usb c for charging we have another usb 3.1 and then we have a HDMI. So overall, the port selection is pretty good here, especially considering the size and that we're kind of entering a dongle world. So to have three full USBs here is nice. So you can connect the mouse, keyboard and an external drive and connecting HDMI here is really easy, which is also really great to see. I do wish they would have some sort of SD card support on the side. However, that's really wishing for something extra. And with this Ryzen 5, you can easily do some content creation and light gaming on this. So an SD card, even a micro SD would be a nice to have. However, again, I'm being very nippy 
picky at that point considering the price point and considering the fact we do still have three usb ports on this so in terms of this review it's really just a first look and unboxing and overall for initial impressions i'm really happy with this laptop it seems to have a really really good build quality especially for the price the keyboard is good enough for the price point we're coming in at and the touchpad is really good for the price point we get the fingerprint scanner inside of our power button we get a decent port selection decent screen decent speakers overall it's a really nice laptop so far i'm going to use it for a few weeks see how the battery life performs see how the mic and webcam perform in real use and see how it goes but overall initial impressions of this are really really good anyway guys that's been my unboxing and first mini review slash impressions of the huawei matebook d this is the 15 inch model just to recap from the beginning in the video and overall i think it's pretty good so far anyway guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.